Bob's first in Nevada, and my wife and I are in the ground blind for her, her first bow hunt, which is an archery pronghorn tag. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, it's about 5:30 in the morning now, and we're we're set up for a for a full day set. We've seen some really nice bucks in this area, <coughs> and it's pretty isolated, so. So we've uh, moved locations from where we were sitting this morning because uh, one, well, we weren't seeing anything, and two, um, one of the local ranchers was moving cows into the area we were at, which is fine. Um, I mean, that's part of their livelihood. It's what they do for a living. So they moved about, I don't know, 50 head or so cows in where we were at and came right to the water we were sitting on. And so we decided to bail. Uh, we had a great conversation with them. And they were incredibly apologetic for ruining our hunt, which was no big deal. And uh, you know, everything, everything, always something good comes out of a, of a situation. So we had a great conversation with these folks and they pointed us in a direction to go check out. So uh, where they see a lot of, lot of uh, antelope. That's where we're at. We're gonna grab some lunch and go hit it again and uh, hope that we can get settled in before they come to water. What's up guys, it's August 3rd, uh, day three bow hunt here in Nevada for pronghorn for my wife. We had a little bit of a kind of Nevada shuffle going on. We had some issues with finding somebody to wash our kids and the dogs and the spot we were hunting, just there was no goats. We just weren't seeing nothing, no fresh sign around the water. <clears throat> so we drove out in the middle of BFE last night, looked at some other places that we have scouted, um, didn't really get the warm and fuzzy, but we did see a bunch of goats on this one ridge coming in, and we found some, uh, found some water on that, in that area, on, via base map, so, we've come in here, set a blind this morning, we've never been here before, there's antelope tracks all around the pond, and we're just gonna pray for a good day, and, uh, we did see a doe on the way in, so that's pretty cool. But it's a brand new spot. It's beautiful, and um, we're just we're just gonna hope for good things, All right? So let's get settled in here and enjoy a Nevada sunrise. Okay, so we had a long night, long day, excuse me, and uh, now we're back and ready to eat some dinner and we're watching a really pretty red colored moon come up and and uh, it's just a cool pretty night. It was exciting coming out of the blind tonight, coming around the corner, we saw three bucks um, and one was an absolute giant. Um, 
might very well be the biggest pronghorn I've ever seen in my life. He was freaking huge. Very wide, tall, huge mass, big cub, and he was if it was an, if it wasn't a 90 inch buck, I, I I don't know. It was everything everything you could imagine uh, a 90 inch buck to look like. So, anyways, we're gonna grab some grub, hit the hay, and get up about four, and go get in that blind before the sun comes up, and hope for good things. All right, everybody. Good morning. It's a uh, about five minutes to five o'clock this morning, and it's our last morning. It's hunt for a little while. Um, we got up, got up at 4 a.m. Got got out here. Been here for a little while. Just finished up some some of the breakfast from Peak Refill. What did we just have? The strawberry granola, canola, strawberry granola. Wow, dude, that's epic. It's like a dessert for breakfast. Uh, anyway, we're gonna we're just gonna sit here, hang tight, and kind of see what happens as the sun rises, and hope uh, that monster buck we saw last night's nearby. You smoked him, babe. You shot the wrong one, but you smoked him. I got one. Yes, so. you did. <laughs> you said fourth one. That was the fourth one. Sorry, you changed. That's okay. You smoked him. Yeah, you didn't get one of the big ones, but that's okay. I think I got it on camera. Guys, so it's uh, 4th of August, 
and it's just turned eight, eight o'clock in the morning. My wife and I woke up at four and uh, we came out to the spot that uh, we found yesterday. Seen some bucks around us, but nothing that was close. And uh, I just looked up on this ridge behind me and there was three bucks. They were all pretty small. And I looked up on the ridge here and uh, seen some bucks and a couple good ones. There ended up being six of them and they ran around and then they finally came in. Um, they were nervous to come to the water, but we got them within uh, 30 yards and uh, my wife just punched, center punched this buck. He's laying over here dead in the bushes behind us. Um, I mistakenly told her buck number four in line, but she pinwheeled him. Wasn't one of the really, really big ones, but that's okay. It's our first bow kill and your gas, right? She told me afterwards, I can't stop shaking. <laughs> that's what it's all about. So we're gonna go do the recovery and uh, we'll bring him out and get some, uh, some pictures and get him cleaned up and we'll get packed out of here and go home and show the kids, right? All right, here he is, guys. My wife's 2020 pronghorn buck. Her first archery kill ever. Um, man, I couldn't be I couldn't be happier. We had a, a pretty tough hunt um, as far as just sitting a lot of hours with no action. It really it really is a challenging hunt if you haven't sat water for uh, for antelope. Um, we're four days in, and she drew a bow one time and made it count. So she got some. Nice quarter and away shot, double lunged him. He ran probably 200 yards and, and expired. But uh, pretty pumped, pretty excited for my wife. And uh, here's the results, just a beautiful Nevada public land pronghorn buck. So we're excited and uh, it's, as it's warming up, it's 8.30, we're gonna get him taken care of quickly, get him, get the meat cooled. If you get these pronghorn cooled as fast as possible, it man, it's just awesome table fare. So, Looks like we're having tenderloins tonight. All right, guys, we're headed out. We got everything packed up. We got all the meat cut off of, uh, of Cherie's buck. We're loaded, we're headed home. Uh, we just wanna say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the hunt. Sorry we messed up on the footage a little bit. Uh, we, we learned as, as we talked later that uh, we were actually talking about two separate bucks, which is no big deal, still a blessing nonetheless. So we're, uh, we're ready to head home and see our kiddos and show this buck off. And, and uh, we just ask that uh, you guys pass it on. Take somebody new hunting, fishing, camping, introduce them to the outdoors. We need all the support we can get. And make sure to treat your public lands like they're my public lands, because they are.